Today we're going to make a coffee cake. What's not to love about coffee cake? Any old excuse, but we do have a visitor, so it's quite good to have something in when she comes up tomorrow. So today it is literally everything going into the one bowl, bar your coffee mix, you put that in at the end. But 225 of self-raising flour, and to that I've already added two teaspoons of baking powder. So we're just wanting to sift that in, make sure that there's no lumps in your self-raising flour. Watch the knuckles. Pop that over here and to that it's the same quantities of butter and sugar to flour. So it's 225 self-raising flour, 225 of sugar caster if you've got it. I don't, I'm only using granulated. But I am using some butter. So 225 of butter, softened butter. So it's been out a wee while, just getting nice and soft. Now this is a big cake, or two cakes actually. So it's four eggs. Now don't let that put you off because if you, I'm doing a double because I've got a visitor. But if you think that seems like an awful lot, freeze one. Make it and freeze it. And then you've got one ready for the next time. So just give me a second and we'll give this a quick beat up. done is we've already dissolved, melted, whatever, some coffee. Now I've got strong coffee. So I've got two dessert spoons already dissolved, not in boiling water because you're not wanting to burn the coffee. But if we just use say two thirds of it, three quarters to two thirds, holding some back for the butter icing. I'll just give it another whisk up and then I want to see how thick it is. at this stage if it looks like it's split a little that'll just be the coffee. What a lovely mess the coffee's made of the ground to wash my walls now. No, but never mind. Right, just bringing everything down so as you've make sure you've got everything in it. Give it a good brush down. Quite handy to if you can invest in a spatula. It does make life a lot easier. Now I don't think I'm going to do anything to this. But if you feel your mix, they were quite big eggs, but if you feel your mix is still quite thick, just add a tablespoon of milk to loosen it up a little. But I think, for me, I'm going to leave it at that this time. Which is quite unusual. Normally I use a little milk in my baking, but like I say, I feel that it's quite a good consistency anyway. Consistency. I'm so oh, just about political stuff. You always want to say constituency. Right. So these are eight inch rounds. Try and be reasonably accurate. If you're like pedantic or whatever, you can weigh them to make them just about the same. If you're doing a doubler anyway. If you're just making two cakes, it doesn't matter quite so much. But just judge it yourself. I certainly don't ever bother weighing it. Now, 180. You want your oven to be already warm at 180, already hot. So that's 180 degrees centigrade, which is 375 Fahrenheit. The gas mark four. Now, at this point, you're just evening it out. Now, I tend to like to have a sort of a a bit of a hollow in the middle just so as they don't rise to great big points it may anyway but we just like I say you have them as even as possible but without being pedantic about it just scrape it off try not to lick your fingers temptation is just not good 
don't do temptation Kenny but I'll leave that wee bit for later so into the middle of the oven for 25 minutes they should both go on the one shelf and that'll be fine leave it for 25 minutes I've just set my alarm and then we'll do some buttercream good to go up into the side of my road and I've already got butter here having been out a wee bit so it is really soft so it's 50 grams no sorry 75 grams of butter to 150 grams of icing sugar now if you want to I'd realised the coffee was going everywhere I've just have used the blades but I'm going to just do these by hand but if you want to obviously use your whisk do it in a wee minute but I'm just it's lovely and soft so it should all just mix down keep your rice and sugar in reserve just in case this goes a bit thin once you've added the coffee to it because it might just thin it ever so slightly I think I might need to make a, a little bit more but we'll see so in fact I'm maybe going to just change that to 200 icing to 100 butter because I'm going to have to add to this one I think that's in general how you make your, your butter icing nice and simple to a spreading consistency and then we're good to go don't worry that I'm, the Kenny will just put a wee tab up just showing you the actual amounts for rice and sugar but always remember you can go to the orkneynews.scot and you get any of the recipes there because they go up in conjunction so come back in a wee minute and we'll see you then Bye. okay I've been through and checked them already and they were needing a wee bit longer now I've made a an error that you probably should always be aware of I've come back and I've probably banged my oven door so they've slightly sunk but don't let that put you off it just shows where you know things happen I mean, they're, they're still perfectly usable but they've just got an ever so slight indentation but we're going to be inverting these cakes anyway and putting icing on them so you just do not panic never panic everything will be able to be rectified so we're just going to leave these alone for just 10 minutes or so just to cool down good way to, to know if cakes are ready is they've slightly come away from the edge of the tin um, but we'll just leave these to cool and then we'll upturn them and come back and ice them. okay I'm going to just put some topping on it I did end up making up some extra icing so it's actually 200 grams of icing sugar to 100 of butter soft and butter with a little bit of the coffee in it now I would always tell you to taste it yourself because some people like their coffee icing really quite strong uh, my family don't so that's why mine is quite light looking but if you want it a wee bit stronger just by all means add some more extra coffee to it so we're just going to put a layer in the middle this will both obviously give you some moisture halfway down your cake but it also acts as a a bit of a glue for the top to go on now I'll just put a little bit in and if you have a wee bit extra in the centre some of it will get squished out maybe now I'm keeping them inverted just as you can see actually it didn't it's not really sunk too badly you know I mean there's a tiny wee bit there so don't let it put you off though you know th these will be fine it's up to you if you want to do it just putting your ice in that way I'm going to just invert them and hope that they'll be okay together just press it on always have it on the, the plate that you're wanting it to finish on now I've got two or three knives here because I've inverted them I may get some crumbs I'll stick so if you keep a couple of knives just in reserve just in case because you're not wanting although you're going to put a, a bit of a, a topping over it you're not wanting it to look all crummy so just right round and then it's up to you but we're going to come down the sides now this is where it could get a bit crummy so I'm going to just put some on you see how the crumbs are coming away 
you've just got to be a wee bit careful with it. I'll work back to front here, Kenneth. I'm getting quite the dab hand at working back to front. Don't worry if there's bits go on your, your plate. You'll just see to that once you've finished it off. Oh, I can hear a doggy. I hope she... The, oh, I can hear Kenny's tummy. I've just fed him too. you are not feed you enough, Kenneth. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I did. Now, as you can see, my cake's slightly slipping. So just hold it together and push it back the way and then just start again and then once you've come the whole way around we just want to make sure you're finishing it off right across the top here and then because you're probably not needing to watch me for too long I can finish this in a minute if you want Kenny what do you think? Well, just crack it or just come back in a wee minute I'll finish it off. I'll just show you what we're going to do and then we'll get a picture of it once it's finished. So, have a couple of things. It's up to you how you're wanting to finish it. I'm going to make that just a wee bit neater maybe. Just whilst we've got that side to the camera. So working down if possible. Because it won't matter then if you end up with just a wee bit of a skirt. And then also you're actually being clever in so far as you're putting the thumbs down the way. So we'll just come round this wee bit again. But these won't matter too much because you're going to be putting a bit of a topping on. So it doesn't really matter if you're seeing a little bit of the thumb through. So we leave it like that just now and work from this. Now I did leave my little grater out. Kenny, have you just moved the wee grater by any chance? Well, oh, you've popped it in the sink. Mr Tidy. Right, we'll just make sure it's dry. Okay, I've got two different things here that I'm going to use. Now, quite often you could just use uh, some almonds or um, nuts, things like that. What I've got today is just a bar of whole nut. And so we're literally going to just grate a couple of wee bits. Oh, the other way around. Just to give you a top in. And this way we'll get some um, nuts through it as well. Alternatively, if you don't have something like that lying about, this is the time of year where we've always got chocolates to hand because you get chocolates at Christmas and there's often two or three that you're not that keen on. So just get grating them away over the top. And that'll give your, this one's a biscuit one actually. So that'll give a little bit of texture too. And I'm going to just leave it there and we'll finish this off in a second. And that's how easy it is to make a coffee cake. As usual, I hope you try it and uh, you can let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.